Do your mom and dad have special memories of wins over Alabama, and do you think you could hold this one tight? For oh, yeah, we got to, like, to be in our family, we got to be Alabama. Uh, it's special to uh, be able to do that my senior year, so, yeah. What did you think when you looked down and saw that you had 17 one shy of your dad's career game? Hold on, what? 17 rebounds. What, what, what did you think? One shy of my dad? I thought that was his career high. He had 17. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Dang. I ain't get it. Well, you need one more. I ain't, I ain't even know that. No, I gotta get another game. <laughs> I ain't even know that. That's what's up, though. But um, yeah, I just try to rebound, uh, help my team win. So yeah, hopefully I can be the record one day. Samir, talk about the good start in overtime. How that helped you win the game. Uh, it was important. That's what we talked about. We knew Isaac was there, so we wanted to try to get a fast start to give us a little, some type of advantage to uh, start the overtime. But. I know he was injured, uh, you know, somebody injured playing with one hand, but what did you see from Herb out there? I know he had kind of a block on one of the used shots at one point. Just what did you see from him out there one hand? I just remember the block. I don't really remember nothing else he did, but uh, it was a great defensive play. Uh, probably a wrong play call because he, sw- he was able to switch it, but uh, it was good defense by all. Where do you see the most growth from the team who played Alabama the fourth time until now? Um, like I was talking about yesterday, we're more resilient you now. Um, we're more comfortable with each other. And uh, I feel like Al- the Alabama game, the first one was like a hit in the mouth. Like we went back to uh, the drawing board and went back to square one. So yeah, I feel like we got better because of that. So I feel like we're overall a better team and more tough. This is your uh, fifth overtime win this year, and your third in a row. How you guys doing? Uh, I guess a lot of credit to Coach D. He, uh, we put in a lot of work in the summertime, and I feel like when there's an overtime, that always advantage us, despite our opponent, because we put in a lot of work in the off season. So we we built for moments like that. What guy, what guy did that have to start the game there? Uh, he scored y'all's first eight points, I think. He was on fire. Yeah, he just was saying, uh, I mean, he just was feeling that he was he going to pull it, regardless of someone in his face or not. It doesn't matter if he hitting it or not. But uh, he got us off to a great start, a great start that we needed because they hit 22 threes and. Normally, teams don't win giving up 22 threes. Yeah, and if you hit, we're going to go right back to you. Yeah, so if you're scoring the ball, we're going to keep trying to feed you. Samir, did it feel like in overtime it was time for the seniors to step up? Because y'all scored all your overtime points, seniors did. Oh, man, we, we really didn't pay that no mind. But, uh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't. That's not something that we was concerned about. It's whoever had the high hand. Uh, I got a few play calls early, and I was capable of scoring against the rim. And uh, that's what that was. But it wasn't. Senior, senior or it or whatever. Just whatever was happening. Did you feel like if, uh, after Isaac went out that you and Javon had to kind of take over attacking like he was for most of that second half? I mean, I guess so. Uh, it was just play calls that, that I got, and I just was attacking the rim. It wasn't about me having to take over. I mean, I normally want to take over in moments like that, but I mean, I'm just I'm following whatever coach had, and it was certain play calls for me, so I just responded. How hard, how hard was it to see him go down and, and have to leave the game? And I got him. I got him. Oh, yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was extremely hard. You know, Isaac, he wanted to be out there with us, and uh, we want him to be out there. And uh, he's a very tough guy, so I feel like whatever it is, I, don't, I hope it's not serious, but um, he's going to bounce back. Also, Bruce said it's a goal for you to try to lead the league in rebounding. Is that mm-hmm. something you still try to do? And, and what went well for you on the boards tonight? Yeah, uh, going into the season, I knew like uh, rebound is a focal point for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be cool to lead the league in rebounds, but I just try to grab everyone to help my team win at the end of the day. So when I do that, I'm happy. Faced over now twice. How uh, how they <laughs> Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. <laughs> I know what you mean. Well, you <laughs> how uh, how dangerous are they though when they can't put up? 22 threes, especially if you were to match up in maybe a postseason situation. Uh, they definitely a dangerous team. They they play four guards, and that that's been a problem for us. There's not many teams that's versatile like that in our league, so they always gonna be a matchup problem for us. But that's why they playing four guards. That's why Austin had the game he had. And for him, for when we play teams like that, Austin have to play have to have games like that, and we expect it from them. So they definitely a matchup problem for us. Are we good? Uh, 